Hello there, welcome to Conflict News 2042 complete situation report for you from Israel Palestine a war where Israeli Air Force is conducting very intense airstrikes, maybe Israeli uh, bombs uh, which can reach underground network of Hamas are being fired by Israeli Air Force. Uh, intense strikes last night, which is a big escalation because we have not seen this much intensity in strikes uh, in the past uh, one month or so. Secondly, uh, Hamas uh, claims to have uh, destroyed four vehicles of Israeli military in uh, Gaza, where Israeli military is conducting operations. Uh, thirdly, Iron Dome went wrong yesterday when it fired a missile on an Israeli city. Thirdly, three US military bases again came under attack in Syria and Iraq yesterday. Fourthly, Jordan has airdropped some humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza, mostly for the hospitals of Gaza. I think Jordan is the first country now which is airdropping aid in Gaza. Did it happen with the coordination of Israeli military? And lastly, Blinken is being coldly received in Ankara, Turkey, where he arrived a few hours ago. Firstly, viewers, uh, now that Israeli military has entered Gaza, ground invasion of Gaza, ground operation in Gaza is underway. Israeli military somehow wants to reach Hamas's underground tunnel network. And that is why when Israeli military entered Gaza, it started a digging operation. I don't know if any uh, success was achieved through the digging operation. But last night, another strategy was adopted by Israeli Air Force. Israeli Air Force is now conducting very intense strikes on Gaza in those areas which are under Israeli military control while keeping Israeli military safe. These strikes are being conducted in specific areas. Purpose is that those bombs should be fired, bunker busters, which can penetrate the ground and uh, perhaps reach Hamas PIJ's underground uh, network. So far, Israel has not been able to trace, to locate and to destroy the underground network, tunnel network of Hamas PIJ fighters. But now two strategies are being adopted, digging operation and secondly, uh, penetrative intense strikes are being conducted to reach the underground tunnel system. That is what we have. And that is why last night's strikes were very intense, huge uh, uh, clouds of smoke, of uh, balls of fire were seen uh, rising from the scenes of these strikes because uh, heavy uh, munition was used in these uh, strikes that, so that somehow Hamas's underground uh, tunnel network is destroyed. Let's see. So far, we have no evidence. Uh, Israel has not shared any evidence to prove that it has reached Hamas's underground uh, tunnel networks. Secondly, uh, Hamas claims that its fighters destroyed four vehicles of Israeli military in Gaza this morning. It happened uh, near uh, two areas, Sheikh Ridwan and Al-Shati camp, two are uh, part of Gaza, situated to the south of Bayt al-Liha. And uh, from these two areas, uh, Hamas published a video to yesterday showing uh, attacks by its fighters on Israeli military vehicles. And again in this area, according to Hamas fighters, they have destroyed four 
vehicles of Israeli military. Meanwhile, 34 Israeli soldiers have been killed so far in the ground operation alone. Total number of Israeli soldiers killed around 300, more than 300. And the number of soldiers killed in ground operation around 34. 34 confirmed by Israeli military. While uh, Hamas's firing rocket firing capability is still intact. While thousands of strikes have been conducted on Gaza, while ground operation has been launched, while Gaza is split into two with the northern and southern parts of Gaza and in between there is Israeli military, still rockets are being fired from Gaza into Israeli cities. Last night Hamas PIJ fighters fired rockets from Gaza. And the rockets were intercepted by Israeli Iron Dome air defense system, but uh, rarely uh, do we see when Iron Dome goes wrong, but it happened last night when an interceptor missile fired from Iron Dome went in the wrong direction. It hit an Israeli city, Rishon. Letision, which is an Israeli city, was hit because of this uh, misfire from Iron Dome. No casualties reportedly. So, almost the same situation on the ground. Israeli military operating in Gaza, still conducting strikes, Hamas PIJ firing rockets. Uh, no success so far for Israeli military to reach underground network tunnel network of uh, Hamas PIJ fighters. Meanwhile, the Israel-Lebanon front still active and last night Hezbollah fighters fired rockets and drones on Kiryat Shimona and some rockets managed to land. Uh, some were intercepted in there. Kiryat Shimona was hit last night. It has been uh, confirmed. Three US bases were again hit. Uh, in attacks in Syria and Iraq within the last uh, 24 hours. So, around 50 attacks on US bases now since the start of this war on the 7th of October. Al Tanf, US military base in Syria, was hit where rockets were fired. Uh, then, Ain al Assad base was hit in Iraq. Al Dafuran, which is an unknown group, claimed responsibility for attack on Ain al Assad, US military base in Iraq. Thirdly, Harir, US military base in Iraq, was hit too yesterday. So, attacks on US military bases in Syria, Iraq are continuing. Uh, we cannot say that US military has suffered immense losses in these attacks. Most of drones, rockets, uh, Waters are intercepted, but some managed to land at targets uh, and some uh, soldiers have been injured in these attacks. But it's not that US is suffering any large scale losses in these attacks. Fourthly, Jordan is the first country to airdrop humanitarian aid in Gaza. We know that uh, only delivery of aid to Gaza by road has been from Egypt through Rafah border crossing. Jordan shares a long border with Israel and uh, Jordanian military transport planes last night a drop humanitarian aid for Gaza hospitals. Uh, but reportedly this operation was conducted in collaboration, in coordination with Israeli military. Israeli military was informed in advance so that the Jordanian military transport planes could land, uh, could enter Gaza airspace uh, safely. It happened and aid was airdropped in Gaza. Jordan, first country to supply aid to the people of Gaza by air. Lastly, was Blinken is being very coldly received in Turkey. At Blinken, US Secretary of State uh, arrived in Israel on his third visit uh, two to three days ago. He met with Netanyahu, then he went to Ramallah. He met with uh, Mahmoud Abbas, Palestinian president. And then for two to three hours, he visited Baghdad, Iraq, where Muqtada al Sadr's uh, supporters protested against a Blinken visit. There was unrest, there was uh, 
law and order situation outside green zone of Baghdad. Blinken left. While Blinken was in Baghdad, the uh, U.S. military bases were hit by Iran-backed armed groups in Iraq. And after that, Blinken went to Turkey. But Turkey, in Turkey, he is being received very coldly, reportedly. You can see a clip of Turkish foreign minister with uh, Antony Blinken. And you can clearly see the coldness written on the face of Turkish foreign minister. Why is that uh, Turkey is receiving Blinken so coldly? This is Blinken's first visit to Turkey. They have been visiting all the other countries, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar, uh, Palestine, Israel. But he did not care to pay a visit to Turkey. Now, Blinken has arrived in Turkey because Blinken wants Turkey's support in sending a message to Hezbollah that Hezbollah and Hamas must not cross red lines, especially Hezbollah. U.S. is sending messages to Hezbollah through Iranian officials too. Iran has more links with Hezbollah than Turkey. And uh, Hezbollah has been told by U.S. Uh, through some sources, uh, through some intermediaries, that uh, Hezbollah must not attack Israel. If Hezbollah attacked Israel, U.S. would be forced to be part of this war. U.S. needs Turkey's support as well because Turkey has closed ties with Hamas. Hamas leaders have remained based in Turkey. That is why Blinken is in uh, Turkey. Blinken's visits have not led to any improvement in the situation. No humanitarian ceasefire, no short-term ceasefire. So basically, he is visiting countries, but so far no progress has been seen. Thank you for watching.